and welcome to Unilag TV News. My name is Vina Peters. We begin with the education stories. There appears to be relief inside for students of the University of Lagos undergraduates and postgraduates alike on the issue of hostel accommodation. According to the Vice Chancellor, Professor Lua Tonyo Guntikwe, who spoke on the breakfast show Your View, expanding the hostel accommodation facilities in the University of Lagos has been a challenge considering that Unilag is situated in a waterlocked area and it is very expensive building on the available land spaces. But guess what? All that that is about to change. In the next one year, um, in the next six months, in the next six months, by the grace of God, with this council that we have, chaired by Prince Teju Osho, we have people that have shown interest now that want to invest into our um, hostel facilities. That's not all. Professor Lua Tonyo Gundikwe gave his two cents on why Nigerian graduates are perceived as non-employable. I want to be frank by saying that our environment is hostile. Mm. And our students are coming from um, a very hostile environment, going to a place where everything needed um, is available. Definitely, you know, they will excel. I'll give you an example of myself. Before I finished my PhD, I never saw an electron microscope. I read so much about the electron microscope. At the first, my first encounter with electron microscope was when I went out for my postdoctoral. And, um, in the rest of Reading and Cambridge, and I saw an electron microscope. And the person taking me through was surprised that within one week, I was able to manipulate the electron <laughs> microscope. Unlike having it for, many of them will be on it for about three months before they come and Within one week, I was able to manipulate it. So, they are coming from an environment that is hostile um, to an environment where everything you need um, is available. There it's there for you. The opportunities are there for you. The exposure there for you. So that's the difference, I, I can say, that area. Now, in every institution, there are checks and balances. Responding to the allegations of misappropriation of funds in the University of Lagos, Professor Guntikbe had this to say. The university operates on committee system. I cannot approve anything. I'll give you an example. I travel to Abuja now. I cannot just raise a memo that I want a refund. And when I even get the memo from my office that they will write that to the, to the VC approve your trip to Abuja, I will need to now send it to your bossa, approve. Sending it to bossa does not mean bossa will approve payment immediately. Mm. Bossa will mean it to the deputy bossa, who is in charge of um, the, 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 mm. the budget, mm. to know if there is fund for, this. for that. So I cannot just approve, say approve. No, the university does not operate like that. More on education stories. As part of efforts to reduce the number of out-of-school children in the country, Empowering Africans Through Education Initiative EAE has awarded 140,000 Naira worth of scholarship to 13 pupils selected across public and low-income private schools in Lagos State. The Community Engagement Manager, EAE Joseph Onokwe, says that the scholarship scheme is majorly about improving lives of children and saying that basic education becomes inclusive in Nigeria. Away from the NGO, the Kwara State Government has sanctioned nine secondary school principals over the collection of illegal charges and items not approved for students in public schools. Mrs. Adatu Modibukao, who is the State Commissioner for Education and Human Capital Development, explained that some parents had reported to the ministry that some principals were charging above the approved PTA levies and also collecting items that were not approved during the education stakeholders' meeting. And she further assured members of the public that the administration would not fold its arms and allow saboteurs to blackmail or sabotage the results oriented education reforms of Governor Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak's led administration in the state. Serves them right. Lastly in education, a group under the aegis of Citizens Intervention and Accountability Network has unveiled plans to organize as a competition among secondary school students. The NNP Committee, Director of Project and Planning, Mr. Samson Ayefu, says that the first phase of the competition tagged Presidential Advocacy Essay will run between November 1 and 30, as it is intended to spotlight and activate national interest needed to steer state action 
sectors and the policy community for immediate plan of action. Hmm, very impressive. And now to the world of entertainment. Simi has taken to a social media page to ask parents some questions on flogging their children as she wanted to know if beating a child helps them adjust their behavior. Out of curiosity, she further asks if parents have tried every other thing rather than spanking their kids at every given mistake and sincerely, she admits that parenting is hard. As she adds that every parent needs training on how to raise wholesome children. <laughs> it seems like the reality of parenting is beginning to dawn on her. Still in the world of entertainment, comedy skits making is becoming one of the fastest growing sectors of the Nigerian entertainment industry with an array of talents that serve their fans with quality comic content from time to time. Don Jazzy, Obi Kubana, RMD, Fals and Banky W happen to appear as top 5 celebrities who have delved into comedy skits with different skit makers who use different styles, languages, patterns, tones, appearances and several other formats to ensure that they stay relevant in the ever competitive content deployment market. Congratulations guys, thanks for making the industry more fun. Furthermore, following the new social media trend in the last two weeks, Dorothy has teased her fans by jumping on the trend slang used by many Nigerian youths. While counting down to her birthday and sharing photos of a brand new Range Rover, which many thought she spoiled herself with, she hinted in the last slide of the post with a slang which depicts that she might not be the owner of the new ride. And it probably was not a birthday gift, saying, now waiting no be my own, I want the post now. <laughs> I nearly thought she was the owner. Moving on, the drama involving Jaruma and Regina Daniels has gotten a new twist after the intimate product seller made new revelations. Jaruma released an unsigned contract between herself, Regina Daniels and her mom Rita, while she also leaked a private chat with the actress which revealed that she was supposed to make some adjustment to the contract but Regina and her mom proceeded without signing it. Oh ho, things are about to get messier. And finally, in the world of entertainment, Nigerian recording artist Mo Bad has taken to his Instagram stories to disclose that he is stuck in Cyprus as he blamed his show promoters for his current predicament. Although he didn't disclose under what circumstances he was being held or what led to it. Hopefully, guys, the Malian record label artist will be back home to us soonest. And that ends the Unilag TV news. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to get updates on all our videos. Now, don't forget to also follow us across all social media platforms at Unilag on TV. Many thanks for watching. My name is Vina Peters. Good evening.